Hello, welcome back to the Stepping Break YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Giuseppe Palladini and I'm here today to differentiate between good debt and bad debt. Debt is not a bad thing. It can be a good thing or a bad thing depending how you use it in your favor. So to differentiate properly, the bad debt is something that decreases in value over time. For example, if you borrow money, to buy a car, then the car is decreasing in value over time, so you're losing money and that is a bad debt. Generally, bad debt is loans that you have on a higher interest rate. So you're paying a lot more to get what you want, but in reality, it's no returning back. Another example is store credit. When you buy uh, a sofa or uh, anything on finance and you pay in uh, installments, so you're paying a little bit, a little bit more and you pay on a higher interest rate. Credit cards, be careful because credit cards can be a good way to use uh, to increase your credit score, but um, credit cards, if you use badly, then it's a bad debt, especially because if you go over the limit, over the deadline, then the interest rate that you're paying back is way to the roof. And finally, any kind of loans, they are normally considered as bad credit, but remember, if the loans, you use them for investments, that is another matter. Now, let's see now the good debt. So, mortgages. Mortgages are scary for many people because they want to be debt-free. So, they want to pay off the mortgage as soon as possible because they don't want to have any debt. However, mortgages are very low interest. As even now that the interest rates are going up, they're still cheaper than borrowing money for other things. If you borrow money for a car loan, for example, it's going to be a lot more expensive than if you borrow money for mortgages. Remember also the good debts are debt that increase in value. So for example, the mortgage, you buy a house, you can buy an investment property, you can buy a buy-to-let, you can buy a commercial property. It's increasing in value over time, plus it's giving you rental income. So you have a capital appreciation from one side, and an extra income, which is the rent, together it gives you a maximum profit. So it's a good debt to have. Don't be scared of mortgages if used correctly. Then you have businesses. So if you open up a business, if you set up a business and you work on your business and you work in your business at the beginning to make it uh, fly, then whatever you're investing in the business in reality is coming back as a profit if you do it correctly. If you, if you have a mentor, if you have a support, if you have somebody to help you to run the business, to take it from point A to point B, then your business will be profitable and you can have that income you always dreamed about. Investing can be anything, can be properties, can be, I'm not judging, but can be crypto, can be anything else that you want to invest in that gives you a return uh, of your money. And then finally, but it's not the last one, it's actually the number one thing that I invest in is education. Education is the best debt that you can have in your life because no one can take that away from you. Once you learn something, you have the skills to do whatever you learned and you can use it over and over again. Hope you enjoyed the content of this video. If you did, then subscribe to the channel, comment below, I will reply personally. And remember, my name is Dr. Giuseppe Valdini and I'm the founder of Stepping Bricks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.